What is good, Grey Gang? Now today my voice is a little bit different. I'm kind of losing it a little bit, but I'm going to bring it back. Okay, there's a chicken right behind the camera. It's about to crow any minute now. But today's video is all about deer hunting preparation. And here particular in Kentucky, in my area of Kentucky, deer season's actually been in with a bow for like over a month. I've just not went yet. And I've had to be honest, I would say that the main reason is just deer ticks and heat it's still kind of hot like it's still basically summer temperatures it's really hot right now and deer ticks are super bad exactly at the place i'm wanting to go deer hunting which is kind of a bummer <laughs> there it is guys i told you it's coming but right up here's a field it's not very far at all we'll actually drive up there and see if there's any deer there because the last few days i have actually saw some deer let's go see if we can scout any up here a few days ago, I actually saw a pretty nice buck. I'll tell you about that later, though. Let's see if we can see anything. They're usually back there in that corner, but I don't know if they're here anymore. Yeah, they're not here anymore. They were actually here like an hour ago, but I think I kind of scared them off whenever I came back here. But in this video, we're going to be doing some big stuff for preparation. We're going to be one, shooting the bow, making sure we're sighted and everything. And we're also going to be setting out some corn for deer and also set out a trail camera for deer. But first, I actually got some new boots right here. And I want to tell you about them because they're pretty special and there's kind of a funny story with them. I got some of the Red Wing Irish Shedder boots. Now, these are top quality boots. Like, these are some of the best boots on the market. <laughs> He agrees with me. How convenient. But we're going to crack these babies open. Okay, so here they are. Here they are. They're pretty, like, insane technology, especially once you get up here to, you know, like, the lace tying system up here. I'll talk to y'all about that here in a second. But one of the really funny things that actually happened here, this is pretty funny, and I actually figured it out today, which is the day I got them in the mail. So I got on Irish Setter's website, and I was looking through which ones I wanted, you know. I was going to pick out the ones I wanted, and, you know, I saw these. These are the ravines. I was like, oh, yeah, those look cool. And then on the website, I saw two options. I seen, you know, this pair, which had pink little foam down here. And there was also a pair exactly like them that had a little orange foam down here. And I was like, I don't really think there's a difference. So I'm going to go with pink because I like to be snazzy. I mean, I've got two pink bracelets on right now. And this is where the story gets interesting. So earlier today, I decided to look at the box, you know, see exactly what the specs are on the boot. So I looked there and I'm like, oh, okay, this is the Ravine. This is a pretty good boot. It's waterproof. It's got cushion in it. It's got a scent bar. Oh, that's cool. I got women's boots. Wait, what? I got women's boots? Women's boots? I'm not a woman. I'm just a boy. I'm a real boy. And so at that moment, I'm going to be honest, guys. I was like triggered out of my mind. I ordered a size 10, which as you know, men and women's size, they're different. So I ordered a 10, which I wear in men's. But in reality, I ordered a women's. But then I tried them on and they actually fit really good. <laughs> so I ain't complaining, boy. It fits better than a normal tent. But I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. I'm going to wear them for the rest of this video and for the rest of hunting season. You better believe it. And I'm going to make a promise to you guys. I'm going to kill a deer in these boots. It may not be this year, but I will kill one. But anyways, here we go. Just going to crack them open. They do have the pink. You know, the, I mean, even though they are women's shoes, they do have the pink inside. The lap makes it that much better. What's really cool about these particular boots, these particular ravine boots, is, uh, well, let me bring you in closer so you can get a good look at it. And so here's the boots. And you may be saying, oh, yeah, I mean, it looks like just some normal boots, right, with some awesome pink ac accents right there. But, bro, look at the shoestrings. There's not any. It's just this thing right here, and it's called the BOA system. All you do is push it down, twist it, it tightens up all the wires just like shoestrings, and now my boots are tied. And it's that easy. Like, that's, that's easier than Velcro shoes, guys. And then to take them off, all you gotta do is pop it off, and they just come off just like that, really nice and easy. It's no problem at all. Like, these are the best boots I've ever owned in my life, and they're also the quickest. And you can imagine, on those big early hunts, we're getting up at like 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. Let's be honest, guys. We're still half asleep, and we can't hardly tie our shoes anyhow. All you gotta do to tie these is have a hand and a brain, but that, that usually comes with it. And there we go, guys. My boots are on my feet, and we're ready to go. Let's start shooting our bow. We'll start out 25 yards. My goodness, Joseph. Okay, guys, here we go. We're about to shoot a bow. We're about 20, 25 yards. I'm not exactly sure, but you got to keep in mind, whenever you're out deer hunting, you don't get to choose how far the deer is most of the time. But here we go. From what I know, anyhow, this bow right here, it shoots pretty flat from about 25 in, so it should be about the same no matter where it is. And if you can't see what we're shooting at, we're shooting at the yellow target right there, right behind the M35A2 deuce and a half. If you want to know why I have an M35A2 deuce and a half, that's another story. 
It's also another video. Here we go. We're going to shoot two of them right there the best you can. I think that was good. Here we go. Mm. Let's go see. I think I've done actually pretty good. Just keep in mind that I literally say that every time, whether I do good actually or not. But this time I do feel pretty good. And it is not bad. I will say that it's decent. It's decent, especially the first shot. The first shot was dead on. This one was just, you know, a little bit off to the left. But overall, that's pretty good. That's still definitely going to kill a deer, guys. It's definitely going to kill a deer. And hopefully it'll kill a deer in the next week and a half. Because after I set out this trail camera, it's game on. This time, guys, dead serious. I'm going to stay locked, stay focused. I'm going to stay sticking laser off focus on that thing. My eyes ain't coming off the target. I'm about to get a touchdown. Here we go for the Hail Mary. Oh, no, he drops it. He's running the ball. Touchdown, Boston Celtics. Boo, 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 boo. Let's go see. Looking better, looking better, guys. It's getting kind of closer. The groupings are definitely getting closer. Still aiming right there at that, you know, normal mark. Same one I have been aiming at. Here we go. This is the last two shots I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot these. Then we're going to not waste any time. We're going to go out and set that trail camera. Go pick a good spot because it is getting kind of dark. And we need to hurry up and be wrapping this up because I think I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty good and I'm, I'm sighted in enough to kill a deer. So we ain't going to waste any more time sitting here doing this. Okay, that one was maybe really bad, but I'm just going to call a... I'm trying to make up an excuse, but I can't think of one. It was the moon phases. Okay, this one's actually surprisingly better. The groupings are again. Like, again, the groupings super close together, but we're still not exactly hitting the center. Nevertheless, guys, that's going to kill a deer. That's going to kill a deer as long as I, you know, basically hit its vitals. As long as I aim in the right space, with that amount of, you know, not hitting this, I guess, I can still kill one. Now let's just go scout and actually find out which deer I'm going to kill. Okay, great gang, we're back here. This is where I'm actually planning on deer hunting this year. I, hit, I hunted here last year and had a lot of opportunities but i just never took any of the opportunities i don't know why it really doesn't make any sense except it kind of does i only had shots on spikes which i didn't want to take a spike and then there was a few does the size of sheba my dog they were super small does and i just figured you know what i don't want to kill one of those so i just didn't kill one last year but the tree i'll be climbing that one right there that big long tall straight one i get in my climbing stand i just climb right up it and I usually have some kind of food pile right here. Last year is actually a mixture of three different things. We had one wheat meal. It was amazing. It was, worked really good. But the guy that shipped it to me, which was the only place I ever heard of it, it cost him $7. And that's just not economical. But if you can get your hands on some wheat meal, which is basically just powder, it works really good. We also had some corn right here. It always works good. Good old kernel corn. Deer love it. And then we also had a salt block, which may or may not count depending on what you call a food pile. But as you can see here, the big hole, the salt block is actually responsible because of this because the salt actually dissolved into the dirt and the deer literally ate the dirt because it tasted salty. But right now, I'm actually going to set up the trail camera and we're going to put out a little bit of corn. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned that I actually saw a big, decent bug back here in the field not too long ago. And I think it was actually like three days ago. But it wasn't massive. It was a solid eight pointer. Like it was a solid eight pointer. It was solid. And right now, we're going to set up the trail camera and some corn. I've done told you that three times, but I'm telling you guys, we're going to do it. First, we'll put out some corn. Now, I'm going to put quite a bit of corn out here. I'm going to be pretty generous with it. I'm going to give them a lot. Okay, guys, I may have gave them a little bit too much. Just kidding, but this actually isn't a lot of corn for deer. Like, it's not much corn at all. You take three deer, and they could eat this up in one night easily but take this in mind i'm not trying to feed deer i'm not trying to make that corn pile their main source of food all i'm trying to do is make these deer associate this place with maybe a quick snack on their way through that's all i'm trying to do guys i'm just trying to become their friend now with the trail camera though we're going to set up this trail camera washing the corn pile that way if anything comes to it we're about to see what it is whether it's a big buck or a squirrel We'll get a picture of it. Here we go. We gun got this guy strapped on the tree. We're going to crack this bad boy open. Turn it on here. Just going to turn it on right there. Now the time is ticking down. We just got to get out of here and get out here quick, guys. Let's get on the mule and skedaddle. Update. There was little bugs in my corn, so I just dumped out the whole bag. I ain't here to get no bugs. Uh-uh. Not today. If all you looked at were the boots in this picture, you'd think these were woman's feet. But guess what? 
They're not. They're mine. But nevertheless, boys, I'm out here styling and profiling. I got pink all over, and these things are like, you know, they held up good today. Especially the BOA lacing system, which really surprised me today. Like, that is insane how they work. Like, this changes the game. You can put both boots on and tie them in 15 seconds. Compared to my usual, about three minutes. Well, three and a half. Three and three minutes and 45 seconds. Hey, you get the point. If you guys are interested in a pair of these Irish Shedders ravines, you can, you know, don't ask me how my foot done that. It's best you don't ask how my leg is doing this right now. But it is doing it. And yes, it is my leg. The really good thing about these Irish Shedder boots is that they're available in stores. They're available in Bass Pro, Cabela's, Dick Sporting Goods, all the big retail stores. These suckers are in there. That way you can actually go in the store and try them on, get the right size, and you don't end up like me wearing the high heels of the boot world. And honestly, guys... I make these look good. But anyways, Grey Gang, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. If you're not in the Grey Gang already, go on down. Subscribe. We're going hunt, We're going deer hunting really soon. Here in just a couple more videos, we're going to go check the trail camera, analyze the data, break it down at a fundamental standpoint. And this year, we're about to kill a deer. And I'm thinking we're going to kill us one early in the season. Because keep in mind, guys, I can kill more than one deer a year. And this year, I'm going to make it happen, guys. I'm not going to disappoint. Hopefully. I probably will. You know what? Just act like I didn't say that. See you later.